guys, and welcome back to Beneath the Table. It's getting kind of crowded over here, don't you think? All of these people, we have another new subscriber. Oh, wait, really? That. Two new subscribers. Is it two? Oh, yeah. One of them's me. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I, I just subscribed to uh, Sunday or whatever. Uh, yeah, well, Saturday. I think or no, it was I think Saturday. it was Monday. Whatever day that we go class together. Yeah. Logan is listening now. So I know that's one regular. Maybe. Unless it was like a pity subscribe. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Did he click the notification button? Because then he won't truly know when we upload. That's true. I think he only uploaded for the last episode with all ranking of Marvel movies. Because that's oh, yeah. all we talk about at work. The one that sounded like a, what did you say, a Skype call? Yeah, it sounds like a Skype call. I I still, it's it's fine, but it's just we're way lower in the mix. Did you did you actually watch it? I did things differently this time. Yeah, I watched all of it where you had like the, the transition. Which stuff. I think makes it feel better. What was that thing you're doing with my face? Oh, oh, I, I have your face. I'm. I want to get a. Ta I'm out right now. I'm working on a table, and I'm gonna have all heads floating above it with the title. But it's Wait. supposed to be beneath the table. It's a podcast. Yes, it's just a name. Be consistent, Matthew. Just but put it beneath the that's table. like. That's like if I go to watch Black Panther, and it's like, oh, actually, here's this cool new gold suit. Yeah. So he's gold pen. Yeah, but gold he's still pen. black and underneath. That's not the point. That's not why. <laughs> start start the episode over. <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna be starting adding like things, and they will so people don't complain. Like I don't want to just listen. I want to look at stuff. Too. Yeah, I want to look at stuff for fifty minutes long. I want to be spoon fed. We could just be like those channels that twenty four seven live stream like SpongeBob episodes, and just put our audio over like. SpongeBob as it plays, but they yeah. have the SpongeBob audio. or leave the SpongeBob audio in as well, and just have both overlaying each other. Yeah. Or we just dub over everything. We still just need to get like a camera set up or something in here. So yeah, we can, like, film us talking. Mine only records up to ten minutes on 1080p, so we would need to go. Every one day longer. On 1080p, mine can do I think like quite a while. It's just 4K it can only. Okay, I mean t that's I don't. You want to do 4K? That takes that's a just get like a tripod. That's a tailor thing to Let upload. Yeah, let me see what the settings are. Continue talking. Anyways, so tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Well, not for you, for us, but yeah. But tomorrow when it comes out is Valentine's Day. I thought you said we were gonna keep the illusion up this time. Oh, I I don't remember saying that. Anyway, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so you know we're coming out. So it's today. Today's Tuesday. Illusion. Going up. We're going to talk about Valentine S things. On a Tuesday. <laughs> Why do I invite you? I don't know. I haven't decided. Anyways, start things off. Let's talk about past Valentines. As a rule, well, like in elementary school, like memories of that. Oh, elementary do, school Valentine's that was, Day? That was always like the worst thing where it would just be like, I gotta make one for all the people. And like when you're like 10 or like 8 even, and it's like, ah, I gotta like write out. Like tw like at twenty least, names, at least twenty two different names, and be like, "Hey, you're a cool cat." Oh, and you actually wrote things on it. I just got those like yeah, dude, two I, from and like put my name on it. I was always friend, school. I was a friendly guy. I remember making a girl cry on Valentine's Day. Wow, you're such a nice guy. Heartbreaker. I, uh, I mean, I was like what six, seven. I was really young. I mean, I wasn't like trying to. I was just what did you when say? You're a kid, when you're, I don't remember what I said. I just remember her saying something that made her cry. Did you say? I think she was being sweet to me, and I was just kind of like, okay, and then like that was it, and then she got really upset, something like that. I don't remember what happened. I get to see six year old Jacob with your voice saying, okay, yeah, full beard, okay. <laughs> full beard, full beard, Jacob. Yeah, playing a lot it? of yakuza. Do you, <laughs> do you like yakuza? It's like, do you want to go to the playground? <laughs> No. No. <laughs> I just like to imagine the like, you're on Jacob, but just, no. <laughs> Valentine's Day in elementary school and a little more school was like a very objective, like, oriented thing. Because like, oh, I have to get everybody a Valentine's, but I'm going to make this one special Valentine for somebody else. I never did that. I, never See, did I, was, that I didn't get into girls until I was 10. I was into guys before. <laughs> 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 I just no. I just I didn't it's have like, any. It's like Louis C.K. talked about. It. He's just like, yeah, I'm 50 now. Maybe I'll do the other half of my life gay. Yeah, switch it up. <laughs> but no, like I um, was, I wasn't in. I, I mean, I wasn't into like any kind of like love or anything like that when I until I was like 10 years old, and I was just like, oh, that's what this is. I wouldn't call it love. I would just call it like you and fashion attraction. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't into like I wasn't like attracted to girls until it's like that magnet thing I learned learned about in science class. Yeah, class. <laughs> Clay. I, I think it was from all the cartoons I watched, and there'd be like an episode about relationships or something like that. I'm like, oh, that's what this means. Like whenever like I had like my first crush, I don't even remember her name. I remember that episode of Waverly Place. 
We all do. <laughs> what episode of Riverdale? I never like watched Like all it. of season five, with like the. I thought it was like half the show. The, the like my, the, the vampire girl or whatever. What? My, my sister watched. Watch no, my sister did, but I didn't care to. Did you not watch all the hit Disney Channel shows, such as Shake It Up featuring Zendaya and Bella <laughs> Thorne? No. no. <laughs> the closest I got to that was, I, of course, I watched Zack and Cody, and then I watched okay. uh, Sweet Life on Deck. Which I didn't watch Sweet Life on Deck. I, I hated it. Yeah, you didn't miss much after like season one. Um, <laughs> but I watched that. Um, I watched Good Luck Charlie because it was actually pretty funny. And oh, then yeah. I watched. I, uh, I watched. I Carly, even though it's a Nickelodeon show. No, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about Nickelodeon. Anyways. You don't want to talk about Nickelodeon. I mean, I do. But anyways. Remember Nick at Night? I always watch George Lopez. <laughs> it's still on. I know, but I don't see George Lopez. But if you want a better late night programming block from Nickelodeon, go get Teen Nick and then just watch The Splat. It's way better. Oh, yeah. Do they still make Degrassi on Teen Nick? Yes, oh, they geez. do. They still make that? Yes. Um, it's like Glee, but with more drama and less songs. Anyways. It's like Drake. It's like... Now with less Drake in a wheelchair. Yeah, now with more Drake without a wheelchair. <laughs> hey guys, I can walk. I'm from Canada. Check okay. out my eye- Drake says. <laughs> check out check out my eyebrows. Back to Valentine's stuff. Yeah. He has very thick eyebrows. He does. So, I told you this is how this episode would go, Matthew. The one thing I remember, like, I don't remember much about Valentine's Day in school except for like high school because we had this thing where. I believe it was, yeah, the girls would wear hearts around their neck, and if they had, if they talked to a guy, they had to give the guy their heart. What? And then the, the, whoever had the most hearts at the end of the day would get, like, some kind of prize. They what? would call us to the office and give us, like, a bunch of candy or something. That sounds culty and also a major hit on, a, a, like, a public attack on self-esteem. Yeah. I, I can't remember, <laughs> it was, okay, they did the same thing on St. Patrick's Day with guys, I think. Yeah, that's how it worked. How it, the, the St. Patrick's Day was the guys had to keep their shamrocks and not talk to girls, and it was how is this? How is this approved by the administration and staff? Yeah, I don't know. Okay? I don't know. Don't at, ask me. at Central, what we did was I think they did it still. I forgot you were at um, They did like give a dollar and you can like send somebody a rose or something. Is that a thing? Is that Central? Ooh. I don't know if Central did that, but schools do do that. It's called no. Like, maybe that was that was maybe that was in middle school. It's we like a that. flower gram or whatever. Are you thinking of that Ned's the classified? No, no. It was no. We did the middle school. <laughs> Back which to is, Nickelodeon. Yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. No, no, so that was in middle all school. Roses to himself, and then like the faceless Hispanic guy that had all the ladies was like, "Hold on, who sent him a rose? For he has several dozen. Yet who has who actually sent him one?" And everyone was like, "I did it." <laughs> yeah, that was in middle school, which is also another attack on self-esteem at that age. It's like I didn't get a rose because nobody likes me. That's what I'm saying. It's just like it's a school-approved event on just like let's see what. Like, let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what poor nerdy kid doesn't get any hearts. In elementary school, that was like. Everybody had a box, and everybody had to get a Valentine's Day go. <laughs> um, I'm getting flashbacks from that Simpsons episode. You choo choo choose me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like. So, what do you do after school, Ralph? And I forget what he said, but it was a hilarious line. And then he just goes like, eh, and then rolls down a grassy hill, like we. See, I don't remember like. Again, I just don't remember Valentine's Day in school that much. Like, because I didn't care. <laughs> As an adult now, when you have a job, I don't, I actually, no, I don't forget it's Valentine's Day because in a grocery store, you see it beginning of January. No, you see it beginning of January. You see it beginning January, then the Super Bowl comes up and it goes away like half for a bit, and then the Super Bowl's over and it comes back in full force. I know. And so, like, you used to see all the decorations and stuff. Um, and then, like, a bunch of people come through and like, I need to buy these flowers. It's last minute. It's like, well, you should have got them sooner. Yeah, I guess you don't love your significant other that much. I do remember this other thing where, like, if you filled out, they had this little thing where if you filled it out, it would, like, match make you with someone in the school who, like, had this the most similar answers. Okay, okay. I feel Tinder? like that's, I feel like it's another TV show that you'll love to see. No, I, this actually did happen. Michael did it, too. And I, um... I think that's also Ned Lee's classified episode. I was about to say, I think that was another kind of Valentine's Eve episode they did. But, like, I got mine, and when I got it, I didn't know you the You matched girl. with another guy? No, I didn't, I didn't know the girl who was on it. And then, like, uh, and then like I was like, who, who is this? Does anybody know who this is? Who and the then, heck like, is Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, I, knew, I, knew, I, knew some, I knew some of them, but, like, I didn't... I, this the, the one I matched the most with, I, I didn't... I mean, I was like, the name is familiar, but I don't know them. That's why you have to go meet them to know. Yeah, well, they, well, then she turned out to be a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like, I thought that was hilarious. I feel like they should have had that as like a thing on the card. Just be like, hey, so just heads up. 
Oh, you I'm like, man, this matchmaker is bogus. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, I want my money back. Rule 101 with matchmaking. Make sure they're on the same yeah. date. Sure, basically, make sure they're on the correct dating type of site. <laughs> You're not a farmer? <laughs> well, I, well, I, I tell you what. I mean, I was... I've been dating people, like, during Valentine's Day. I mean, my... You could, you my really current dating girl, my, Yeah, my, cur- my current girlfriend, uh, hopefully to stay... I don't know. My wife at some point. She uh, we'll, not. We're, we'll be dating for a year next Sunday, which is four days after Valentine's Day. Yeah, so we're going to wait, wait four days after Sunday. No, four days after Valentine's. Oh, okay, Day. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so Sunday is the eighteenth, which Wednesday is Valentine's Day, and okay. we both kind of are in this like agreement where we're just like we're not going to do much on Valentine's Day. Like we'll probably go out and hang out and do something, but like with me, is it, maybe I don't know. Probably Actually, not. Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're saying. That's what we're saying. Like, okay. probably after church, we're going to go out somewhere. But, um, yeah, we're, we're just, we're waiting until our one year to actually, like, do a bunch of stuff. With me? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> I guess Happy I... Valentine's Day and that. I guess I'll go. <laughs> but, like, I just don't remember, I just don't remember much about Valentine's Day at all, really, because Valentine's Day was a day I never cared much about, because it was just kind of like, it's love day. Now, it matters, because my parents are, their anniversary is actually on Valentine's Day. So. Like, they'll ma- they got married on Valentine's yes, Day? that's their anniversary. Mm-hmm. Which they said they did not plan. <laughs> it was just kind of like, oh, okay. That oh, my goodness, six months in advance, it's Valentine's Day. Should I know. Move it? That's like being, nah. like, that's like <laughs> being, essentially, yeah. yeah. That's like being, you like, know my dad. That's yeah. like in June, and just being like, hey, let's have our wedding on December 25th, and then it rolls around, and it's like, whoa, it's Christmas too? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for you, Matt. <laughs> Because I'm married on, I get married on Christmas. No, because no, because your because your birthday's on Christmas. A little different, one, I think. I mean, I guess that's true. That my, that my, one that's not planned. The other ones can be planned about. A lot of people feel like overarching pressure on like Valentine's Day. Do you? Like, yeah, I got to do the best I can for my girlfriend. Blah blah blah. But like for me, it's just kind of like Cassie's actually pretty easy to please. And not only that, I just I don't I don't mind getting her stuff all the time anyway. So like it's just kind of that why thing you're where broke. it's like I got it's you. Why I'm broke. I got you a dollar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I got you some old candy. I drew some, hearts, loves. I drew some hearts on George Washington's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I told her this recently. I was it's like, you know candy. what? Like, buying her presents isn't that hard. Just think of a cool thing that not a lot of other people would think of getting someone. Well, uh, yeah, I, that's I kind of the concept of presents. Yeah, like, but like for, for Christmas, I got her a hanging lantern. She had no idea I was going to get her. Or like I was going to tell you, like, for like a present for what you should do is like, you know how she was all about like making an electric, guitar, electric ukulele? Yeah. You should get her the parts. And That's not a bad idea. Do that. And I was also going to say, you know what you should do, Flo? You should go to some Polaroid film. See, here's what's hard. I know that... you guys said, well, I can buy you both presents. Yeah. Well, see, here's what's hard is that she, like, she's very crafty. And, like, she puts a lot of love into gifts and stuff like that. And Gosh, I wish. Gosh, materialistic. And I wish I could do that. Like I'm, I, I'm, like, I'm not crafty at all. Like, I could write a song or something. But, like, I can't make something with my own two hands because... Your hands are too big. I was cursed with being a lineman when I played football. <laughs> but now my so feet. therefore, I, I, I'm automatically <laughs> my, the one with the smallest brain. My feet can make a heck of sandwich. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's Check like, this magic. Yeah. <laughs> but no, my, my problem oh, is, like, I have. can't make stuff. I'm not good at it. But, like, I can find cool things and get them. But, like, I just don't ever... I can never... She was telling me, like, she's like, you're not going to one-up me this on Valentine's Day. Well, oh, so it's a... Comp- so this is a like Leslie Oh, yeah, situation. oh, yeah. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, I... I we always make fun of how we always, like, whenever we both are getting gifts for each other, it always becomes a competition for some reason. You sound like Leslie and Ben from Parks and And she Parks and always Mike. wins. She always wins because she puts a lot of love into her gifts because they're all handcrafted. And she's like, I can't do that. I wish I could. I want to try. I want to do something. Like, she, she makes she makes food. I can't cook to save my yeah, life. Yeah, we all know. We saw that Instagram story. Okay, sign. I can cook breakfast now pretty well. You should it's sign up for hard. a free trial of Blue Apron at BlueApron.com. Where you, they we're not sponsored. Oh, uh, we're not? I, we're didn't not get, I didn't get that memo. Sorry. <laughs> Cancel that. Check your email, son. <laughs> like, I sent the email to you guys. Ooh, a new deal on Amazon Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, I love her, and I want to show her that I love her, but I'm not as good at it as she is when it comes to, like, gifts and stuff like that. It's just because, like, I'm really good at finding stuff, like, oh, she'd like that, and just giving it to her, you know? But, like, I'm not good with planning a gift for Christmas or something like that. I've never been that good at that. Which is why, for you, I, I, I got it, like, two months late. I got you. 
<laughs> I got you your place. You just come to me and ask me, like, what should I get with Cassie? He's like, okay, this is what you should get, man. No, I mean, I know what I to get her. I know what to get her. I just, I'm just, oh, I, I just wish I was better at it. You should get her one of those, like, the Japanese Winnie the Pooh face mask things where you just <laughs> peel it off and then slap it on and then you look like Satan. That's terrifying. <laughs> it is. Have you not that seen the picture of that? But either way, I'll stop talking about how much I love my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, because uh, currently me and Tyler are all single. Yeah. I think you're single, right? I also have Pringles. Do you? Sing- well, that, I think sing- that's just as good. Hashtag single Pringle. What's it like to be single on Valentine's Day? I don't know. That's pretty I'm much always busy on Valentine's that's, that's Day. Pretty Same. Much, that's pretty much how it's been every okay, Valentine's that, Day. That, I, always will, I usually end up looking. This is... I don't, I don't well, because it's Wednesday and I don't look Wednesday. I'm so sorry. That sounded really, like... <laughs> condescending. That sounded very condescending when I said it. <laughs> how does it feel like, like being single? Well, how does it feel knowing you're going to be single on Valentine's <laughs> like Day? There's just, no good way to ask like, that question. You just beat the heck out of us like <laughs> Hayao Kendi, just, just standing over our corpses. Like, how does it feel? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because I've been single on most Valentine's Days. So, like, I know what it's like, too. But what do you? I meant to ask, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Saving well, money I'm going to go to church saving and... Saving money on Valentine's Day presents. See my friends. Are we doing? Are we going to do a podcast on that day? I'm yes, because it, right. it's not going to come out until the following week as something changes with my scheduling. But yes, anyways. I'm so sorry that half of this has just been me talking about, like, well, this thing with Cassie and man, the well, struggles of being in a relationship. You know, you, you want to hear something ironic? I thought about this on the way to school. Oh, you really struggle. I thought about this on the way to school this morning. It's like, you know what? If I had more time, I probably should have got, like, Cassie to come on here for this episode. That would have been cool. And like, oh, it's a relationship it. kind of thing. But and there would have been works. more than one person talking. What? And then there would have been one, more than one person with like a conversation. Because after the after we finished with the story about elementary school, with like the whole like make a box and make little tiny cards, I got nothing now. Yeah, yeah so that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I got no more stories. I got nothing else to say. I'm tapped out. Well, we can talk about things related to the whole relationship thing and how to get one. Which, I'm tapped out. You how tapped out. Wow. <laughs> well, you know those other services like that. What time is it? Four twenty. Time for you to get a watch. <laughs> Should we just do something different? No. Are you sure? Well, you guys are complaining. You gotta go with what I'm talking about right now. Well, I'm trying. I'm about, right. to, I'm about to bring in your other stories. That I you've told you, about. Matthew. Well, see, I told see, you here's, was... see, here's the issue: is that like I I can talk about Valentine's Day, but that would just pertain to me talking about like my relationship, and I don't want to do that for a whole entire podcast, because that's going to just talk over you guys. Well, I was going to say, you know, there's other ways to get a date, which is online dating. I don't do that, though, so I don't... Oh! Yes. We can finally talk about this! That, yeah, okay, see, I told you we want to incorporate this somehow. I yeah, we, have... we, can, we can cut that whole complaining part out. Yeah, you guys are little... <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Sweet. Most people don't know this. Jacob signed up for online dating at a point, a couple of years ago, I think. Which one? Uh, you, I think you signed up for Tindall... I did sign up for Tinder, but that was just because a friend of mine had Tinder, and he was telling me how fun it is to mess with people on there, and I was going, yeah, we'll see what happens. Is and, like, I would match with people and just start, like, screwing around on there. That sounds bad. <laughs> like, he started would... this making fun of them without them knowing. Well, I wasn't really making fun of them. I was just joking around with them. Like, I would... The thing is, now that I think about it, I'm like, maybe that was harsh of me, because they were probably on there actually looking for someone to go on a date with. I mean, honestly, that's what Tinder well, is. Yeah. But for well, me, I was just like... Well, this some is, of them. I was like, this is kind of funny. I'm You're like, I'm a meme it. lord. <laughs> they, they, that's, that's pretty much... I was just memeing people. Yeah. Right? Like, but my, my problem was... Well, no, it wasn't really a problem. I wasn't trying to be mean. I wasn't just kind of like, You're a loser on Tinder. No, you just kind of like... Doing... They actually like a, like a leading question, and then you just completely... Went a different way with it. Yeah. It's like, hey, so what's up? And I'm just like, it really frustrates me how I can't tie my shoe while walking at the same time. <laughs> the Godzilla story is stupid. Like, I, I, I don't like that one. And so I'm not going to tell it. I just don't like that story anymore. It's, I, just, I, I never really thought that one was all that funny. But the one what? I really, the one, the one I really, no, it, 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 I'll tell you later. Okay. But, ba- but ba- basically some girl, uh, some girl was, um, so I think I, it might now. have been a bot. I, for some reason, I don't feel like it was like actually a person. But like she, but it might have been someone like just egging me on because they have they have bots that they that message you and like follow me on Kick or something like that. But like oh, there I was, forgot about yeah, me. there yeah, so did I. <laughs> there, there, Until now, there yeah. was one. There was one. Um, I'll just tell it. There was this one of like this. This girl was just kind of like, I'm not gonna. I'm just censored here. She said something messed up, and then I I just I kind of led the I kind of led it into talking about Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, "I'm asking if you've seen Godzilla." And the she's 2001 like, with like, Matthew Broderick. And I was like, "And I was like, I'm talking about Godzilla, the uh, the 
the 1960s movie about a giant lizard attacking Japan. Have you seen it? <laughs> like, I just, I kind of just kept going on about Godzilla. Or if you use 2000s and it's uh, attacking America and it's much more unfun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, that's pretty much it on that one. The one I, the one I liked was, uh, on my profile I said I liked mac and cheese. That's all. That, that, that's like the one of two things that my profile bio said. And um, the other I, was, have you seen Godzilla with a question yeah, mark? <laughs> I ended up matching with this one girl. And, Do you like mac and cheese? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, my favorite food's peanut butter. And I was like, I, I used to like peanut butter until that whole salmonella thing happened not too long ago. And she was just kind of like, ha ha. And I put, that is not funny. <laughs> I was like, a lot of people lost their lives. And then I, said, and then I put a YouTube link to Heartless by Kanye West. Oh, that, yeah. That's the one I liked. But like, even then, like after I, I had it for like a couple weeks. I didn't even have it that long. And then like a friend of mine was like, do you have a Tinder? And I was like, yeah, did you see me? And this is a guy. So I was like, are you gay? And he goes, no, one of my friends, one of, one of my one of my girlfriends said that she saw you on there. And I was just kind of like, I don't want people thinking I'm on Tinder. Like to actually find someone on right. Tinder. So I, so I got rid of Tinder. And then uh, I did sign up for Black People Meet with our friend Jacob. And he, we, we, we took the widest pictures possible. Like he, he put on a golf hat and he had his club and he was like, <laughs> in his picture like mid swing. And then like I had a turtleneck on. And we never really got back on there, but we I think we looked each other we we looked we we looked ourselves up and we didn't find it. So they probably like kinda of banned. Yeah, I think, well I mean I think that's how it works. I'm I've always wanted to try farmersonly.com, but what, like of course I'm I'm mean, why would I get on a well actually you know what? No, me and Cassie might, we're actually talking about I think we're gonna make a we're gonna make a profile together on like farmers only what? or something like that and just see what happens. Oh I mean, my I feel like you're opening the door for something bad about they all. That's funny. I just think that's funny. Is E Harmony a Christian one? No, no that's, that's Christian, Christian Mingle. Mingle. But it, so E Harmony. E Harmony. Ooh, is another can we Christian? talk about the Christian Mingle movie? Oh, that's yes. Right. In oh, a second. So I good. I think we've already talked about it though. Not time. extensively. No. Um, so you know, uh, you know, Lexi, Lexus. We talking well, about? No, I'm talking title from work. From work. Yeah. She wanted me to sign up for Tindle a while ago. Okay. It, just because she wanted to live through me vicariously to see what it was like for some reason. Okay. I finally did sign up. For, I signed up for like two weeks. You know why? And I got off. You know why? I didn't match with a single person within two weeks. I was like, this is very depressing. Oh, Matt, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, no, I take it back. I matched with one person. And she was like a Wiccan. Wait, but, what? Yeah, she was a Wiccan. <laughs> was she, That's was, awesome. Was she the lead singer of the Hex Girls? Oh, the if heck only Scooby Doo and if Vampire only. Rock. No, she was like a no, wait, no, she did and Vampire Rock. No, that, no, that, that was, was the second, that, that was, was the witch's Island, ghost. No, it the was Switch. Whatever it was. It was yeah, the witch's ghost. Their wait, se- their second appearance was zomb- was a uh, Vampire Rock. They were yeah. on Zombie Island though, weren't they? No, that no. was no, that was the no. Zombie Island was like the wait. No, that was yeah. the first one, and yeah. then no, no, they no. weren't on Zombie Island. I could have yeah. they were on Zombie Island. No, it was no, that was like that was the weird fooey cat people. Yeah, that was like the paddle boat dude. Who was like Johnny Depp or whatever, and he's like, "Hi." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, no Pi- pirate Depp. No, I yeah. matched with this girl, and it's like, so I was like, you know what? Fine, I'll talk to her. And she says, "Oh yeah, so I'm a Wiccan," and it's like, okay. And but, she was screwing with you. But I didn't like. But I didn't want to end. Yeah, no, she no, she wasn't screwing with me. You. Like she wasn't like an extreme. Like I cast spells. It's like I'm very earthy and whatnot. And so like, okay. I drink from a cauldron. I watch a lot of Adam's Family. <laughs> and so it was like, I didn't want to, like, in the conversation, they would make it the link, like, you know, like, I oh, watch God. a lot of Adam's Family. So I have to go, so I, like, I talked to him, like, Sabrina. I just shouted with him, like, oh. what did she say? I watch a lot of uh, Adam's Family and Sabrina. Why would you think that's what Wiccans... I was making a joke. He said Adam's Family, and then I added on to Sabrina. You didn't call him out for saying Adam's Family. I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Adam's family is like a lot more connected to dark arts. Yes, yeah, Sabrina, no, Sabrina not, is a teenage witch. Yeah, that was my joke. That was the joke because it's, it's. She okay. has teen problems. <laughs> no, but she also has magical powers and a talking cat. Yeah, she's a witch. That was the joke. Whatever. You know what? What is? Okay, I think Sabrina's only, teenage witch stole a lot of stuff from Sailor Moon. Now that I'm thinking about my it, only experience I don't care for with, Sailor Moon, but it's kind of the same premise. My only experience experience with no, witches because and Sailor Moon had nine magical girls. My only experience with witches is uh, Sabrina, and also that that uh, witches can jump in a perfect parabola. You <laughs> see that? That's a perfect parabola. That can only be the work of witches. Okay, let's let's switch back to dating sides. Uh, Christian Mangle. 
I've never used, but I, I know that. we use it, but I've seen the movie. There's a there are two ads I remember seeing for Christian Mingle, and I was like, that is very wrong. Talk um, about the Yule Body. <laughs> so yeah, the one that had John Mayer's Bodies in Wonderland in the background that was bizarre, and then the other one that said it was a it was one of the like computer pop up ads that said, "Why wait for God." I was like, whoa! Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure that wasn't like a fake one that looked like it? It said Christian Mingle. It might have been a joke, but like it looked very real. Why wait for God? I was like, are Seems you serious? Kind of productive on it. I mean, yeah. again, I'm not calling out anybody at Christian Mingle for actually putting that. That could have been, for all I know, a joke. But like, oh man. Yeah, that sounds kind of like the not being okay. sponsored by them now. That sounds like a thing that would be like not okay to say in the Christian community. No. But the movie they sponsored, though. Fantastic. It's. Not by yourself. Yeah, but with never other by people, yourself. Oh my goodness, man! I would watch. I could watch it all. Day. We made so much fun of it when we watched it in the group. Like, it's like, who's that guy? We like looked him up on IMDb. He's like, oh my goodness, he's that voice actor from that show. Yeah. I plan on doing that with uh, my friend Aaron, and we're gonna go see Slender Man in theaters. Whenever. I forgot that was happening. Yeah, dude, I can't wait to see that pile of hot garbage. It's gonna be awful. That trailer was terrible. I can't wait. Like, okay, so I remember when we were watching Christian Mingle. It was. Um, it was at Tom's it house. It was at Tom's house, and we, uh... Tom Petty? No. Oh, no. he's dead. Never mind. He is dead. <laughs> Unfortunately, he is dead. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, Tom, uh, but it was actually, like, I'd only been dating Cassie for, like, three weeks. Were you dating her then? Yeah, I was oh. dating her then. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, it wasn't that long. It, that was, like, during the spring, I think. So yeah. I, I had I hadn't been dating her very long. Yeah. I and, guess. uh, maybe about a month at the most. We were watching it there, and then she had to leave, and then she went home, and she texted me. She goes, this is way less fun. Oh, yeah. Because there's nobody else to watch it with. Because then it's just like, well, I'm just sitting here wasting my time. <laughs> yeah, because you can't make fun of it unless you have other people. Yeah. Well, unless you're recording and then uploading later. I don't know. Hey, YouTube. What's up? It's you. It's your boy here, uh, ZZ Ali Z's. Let's do this movie podcast. XX underscore. <laughs> yeah, XX underscore mean lord five. 420 blaze it. Yeah, 420 hashtag blaze it. Hit marker. Hit marker. <laughs> I was about to say hit marker. Uh, oh. We're on the same wavelength. No, I mean. What? No, I mean. No, you mean? Door I mean. Illuminati hose. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you like that one. <laughs> Door Illuminati hose. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, oh, geez. MLG jokes are so, like, are so old now, but they still make me laugh. Going back to where you were talking about, like, how you would mess around with people on tinder one of my friends would do that too like she had a tinder is it my book um yeah she that who i'm talking about because like she got on tinder just to like basically all she did was swipe until she found someone with a dog in their profile picture <laughs> then she would swipe right and then first message would be like hey can i see your dog <laughs> you met a couple dogs uh, i think nice. so, some people legitimately just go on there and put pictures of their dogs like you want to meet some dogs? If it's a guy, yeah. Like, if it's a guy, then it's like, maybe I can find, like so get someone interested just because of the dog. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works sometimes. I've seen it happen. I'm trying to find, like, because okay, I think we've kind of exhausted the dating site thing now. I'm trying to think of, like, other Valentine's Day related stuff. Well, you know those people who do, like, the traditions on Valentine's Day? Like, they don't celebrate on just Valentine's Day. They, like, do things leading up. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't... Maybe what? because I've never been in a relationship during Valentine's or I wouldn't have been in a relationship. I just don't understand that. Like, why do you have to make this time of year that special when you do it all year round? I mean, I know it's expensive sometimes to do things, like yeah. go out and buy flowers, because flowers are not cheap. You don't have to do it all at once. Put it out throughout the year, and then maybe do go out some more nights yeah. on Valentine's Day. I was going to say, like, what are some of you guys' like favorite love songs, but, like, most songs are love songs. <laughs> Uh, uh, Bringing Sexy Back by Justin Timberlake. I don't want to know. Achy Breaky Heart. Ew. <laughs> That's a lie. Ew. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of Achy Breaky Heart. No one should be. Didn't he make a sequel to that song? He did. It has like, I can't remember what rap. What is it called? Is it called Achy Breaky it's Heart? Achy, it's like Achy Breaky Heart, like part two or something like that. Lame. I think one of my favorite Valentine's. No, wait, no. Favorite love song? No, I was um, going to say Valentine's episode was on Community. My favorite. My favorite Valentine song is my or love song is um, "You Broke My Heart," so I uh, blew up your farm. Nice from back at the barnyard. I forgot about that, dude. That was a that was a really good Nickelodeon show. I don't remember. I remember watching. Yeah, it I never watched I don't remember it. anything about it. Well, you broke my heart, so I burned down your farm. That's what it is. Good, because I don't think you can sing any more of it. Well, I mean, that's how you sound. 
quite a rendition. No, I mean, like, I don't think you can go any further without it being flagged. I don't think Nickelodeon has a copyright on that. I doubt Nickelodeon cares about Back in the Barnyard. I don't know. Look, okay, freaking Biggie Cheese was a meme for a very long time. Ah, Biggie Cheese. And then no one got flagged on that, at least from what I remember. Oh, man, I missed that meme, actually. I missed it. It was so funny for me. I don't know why. Because that was during the time, like, the whole uh, We Are Number One thing was going on. Juanita's arm is broken. If she can't perform the circus... Then Juanita is Hua ruined. <laughs> Ew. That was gross. Okay. That's how he said it. Uh, I mean, you Mar- the... Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye's Valentine's. You had the Valentine's Day episode of Ed and Eddie? When yeah. they were in, like, school? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't like that episode that I didn't much. Like it. I, well, I didn't like any of the episodes when they were in school. It wasn't very... That, that was one of the lesser, like... Okay. It wasn't very inspired. Ed and Eddie's my favorite American cartoon of all time. So, like, it... I... I those are definitely the lesser seasons. I still like them, but they are definitely like. I not like as how good it's like, oh, three. now they're back in school, but at the same time, that's kind of where it started to go downhill. And it's like, it's yeah. true. And then the the movie like brought it all back. Like that movie was incredible. Oh, like, you mean the uh, when he goes big from his show. Show. Yeah, big picture show. That was a fantastic movie. I hated that they never showed double like Double D without his hat because the friggin' maker of the show said that they were going to reveal Double D without his hat, and then the scene where it happens, they still don't show it. Well, Danny is known to be, like, Danny Antonucci is known to be, like, a pretty big troll. Yeah. Uh, he said it would be legendary whenever we saw what was going on with Double D's hat, but. Because it was actually a ghoul all along. I used to think Double D was a girl. I used like, to think that too. A while until finally I realized, I'm like, oh no, they're all guys. But so then it was, like, a thing where it confused me a lot with the Canker Sisters. My friend. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Back, back when, um. Actually, I, I, was, I was talking to people recently, like, at work about, like, cartoon characters. I, there we go. Let's talk about that. Cartoon, <laughs> cartoon characters that you had a crush on when you were a kid. <laughs> Let's talk about that. I don't think I already had any. I like Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Well, everybody liked Daphne. Yeah, everyone liked Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Who she was clean and wholesome. Who played her in the live-action movie? And I mean the theatrical ones, not like the fake uh, Sarah movie. Jessica Park? No. no. Why do you know that off the top of your head? The, the girl who played Buffy the Vampire Slayer, what was her name? Oh, um, Elizabeth something, I think? No. Okay, who do you want to look up for this again? Sarah Michelle Gellar. Is that who it is? Buffy? Yeah, I think that's Hold on, I have IMD up. Um, I can tell you right off the bat. As long as, long as this thing loads. It's Sarah Michelle, yeah. Sarah okay, Michelle okay that's, that's who it was. That's who plays Buffy. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> I was into Gadget from Chippendale Rescue Rangers. The I'm mess. not making that up. Huh? The mouse? No, it's she was okay. a chipmunk or chipmunk. whatever. Yeah. I was thinking of American, um, the Disney thing with the story, the, like, seagull thing. But, yeah. You know, what are you, ta- what are you thinking of? Uh, Amer- uh, like, American uh, Rescue Team or whatever. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking that of that instead of Chippendale. That's why I said mouse. Continue. It was Gadget from Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Uh, there was, the reason why I was saying, like, that word that came from Ed Ed is because, like, I had a friend who was like, oh, yeah, Naz. And I was like, Naz? You Naz mean, who? You from mean, Ed and Nettie. You mean Nasdaq, the stock exchange? I was like, no, man, that, that's a that's a plebe answer. The one you're looking for is Marie Kanker. No, not Marie, I'm sorry. You, wait, which one was the blue-haired one? I forgot her name. Uh, Lee, I Marie, know. and... It's been so long since I've seen the show. Which one is Naz? Naz is the blonde-haired one. That, well, like, who has, like, the black shirt and tank like, top over which, it? Yeah, when she was first revealed, it was, like, the episode where, like, all the guys drooled over her. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'm, the one the one I had a crush on was the blue-haired one that had one of her eyes covered. and That tomboy-looking one? Yeah. Um, I can't remember her name. Hold on. I can't think of it either on top of my head. But everybody's like, Gadget. I'm like, yeah, Gadget. It's like everybody, like everybody loves Lolo Betty from Looney Tunes. From Tune. Space Jam. Yeah. Oh man, the Looney Tunes show was great. I missed that one. Uh, Me and my Lee, dad watched that one all the time. Lee, Marie, and May. May, that was her name. No, May was the blonde one. It was Marie. No. Okay, yeah, no, I was right. Okay, so it was know? Marie. It was Marie the first time. For some reason, I was thinking Marie was the red haired one. I was wrong. Sorry. I'm an Ed Ed Daddy fan. <laughs> yeah, you don't know, no. so you're not exactly. Right. No, Mary is the blue one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Marie. Uh, oh, Marie. I thought you said yeah. May. No, May, May is blonde one, and yeah. Lee is... Dude, you like Tyler. When you were younger, I don't expect you to like it neither now. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, is, like, I don't remember if I did that or not. I mean, once I hit, like... I don't, I I don't like, remember what, what age I hit, and I was like, this is fake, this is stupid. 
Well, I think once you hit like middle school, you're like, okay, those are actual glues around. Yeah, the, the, well, that's what I'm saying. Like when I, hit, when I hit ten years old, wait, I was like, oh, that's there, what it is. There's girls that aren't just hand drawn lines. <laughs> I have a reveal here. I don't know if you get. Uh, he doesn't listen to this, but I, I don't think he'd get mad if I said it anyway. Bart, me and Bartlett were talking about it, and he was like, "This is a weird one," but roll. From Mega Man the, Battle Network, oh, in that series, oh, yeah, the Battle Network, yeah, series? he he said he had a crush on Roll, Roll, <laughs> Rock and Roll. <laughs> Mega Man's name in Japanese is Rock. What I always thought was weird was like that they were brother and sister in the original, and then they, really? they liked each other, like, and they 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 just they ended up falling in love. In Battle Network, because they weren't related, and I was kind of like, Ugh. <laughs> I always thought that was really weird. <laughs> when I found out about that, I was just kind of like, oh no, no. <laughs> oh, no. no. I liked oh, um, so no. when I was younger, I liked so up um, Digimon Adventures. I thought you were going to say from Kingdom Hearts, and I was like, you're saying that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you going to play Kingdom Hearts three? You're so much <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't either. I, I need to play through two. I need to finish one. I bought like the remake, ver- the remade versions on PS4, but I didn't finish. You know, one. for kids shows, they have a lot of like relationship issues. Like for like when I say kids shows, I mean like the ones skilled for like ten and like I guess like thirteen or like eight and thirteen that age range. Have you ever thought about? I'm maybe not. To... Maybe not as much anymore. But oh, do you mean then. in the sixteen range, as in the cartoon sixteen? God. That Life show was a mess. When I'm growing up so fast, you gotta make the good times. Like, da, 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 da. Me and Cassie still have yet to finish Total Drama Island. Dude, to also too, it. that show 16, those they, those characters were not 16 year olds. They were like 25. They looked, they looked way older they than They looked and sounded like they were, which I mean, I know it was adult boys. You told kids. me you liked the character from Cold Lyoko, Matt. Did oh, I? Um, you did. You mean, you mean? You mean? Yumi or... I can't remember. I, I think it was probably Alita. Like, I knew you told me you mean, one. Yumi? I was like, was I can't remember Alita? who was. Yeah, the point of the pink hair one. Yeah, the pink hair one, Alita. I forgot about Code Lyoko. I still I like Code Lyoko, though. I gotta go watch that now. It's so good. I love Code Lyoko. And then, like, Alita came into the real world, and that was, like, a cool thing, and it's like, whoa! Yeah, you know what? I, I think I probably did have a gush on her back then. One of my favorite episodes of Code Lyoko was the one where, like, Xana basically was, like, deleting the whole world, and I'm like, whoa, this is so intense, or... Or yeah, no, no. It was a thing where it was like some virus thing that was destroying both the real world and like the Lyoko world. And so then Xana like helped them like res- delete the virus, so that way Xana wouldn't die either. And I'm like, whoa, tables are turning. <laughs> and then they je- and then they uh, uh uh what what was the phrase like going back to the past now or whatever? What was return it? to the past now? Yeah, return to the past now. And then they return oh, to the past, and it's like, all right, back to the basics. <laughs> Dude, I miss that age of like action cartoons. I liked all. <laughs> I like to how it's like we never saw um uh, what was his name the kid with the glasses Jeremy yeah Jeremy like we never saw his Code Lyoko form but they like, always talk about how weird he looks yeah because they were like hey if you go into Code Lyoko Xana can't possess you or anything or affect you so you have to go in at least once and so you know they what did it but they never showed it I'm really surprised they used the word possess because even Nintendo used the word possess when they talk about like well, small no. well. I think kind of half of the reason they say captured instead of possessed is one because they don't want to be too harsh with the word possessed, but also two, it's a it's a joke because captured. Oh, cap- okay. Well, it's like it's like the uh, Shadow Realm in uh, Yu Gi Oh. It's just hell, but they yeah. won't say it. <laughs> but in the episode, they actually spell hell out in the in the sub, but they had to change it to like death and Amelia. <laughs> there was an episode of Rocco's Modern Life where uh, Heifer goes to hell. But and they and on the sign it says you, it obviously says hell on but it, they but like they mark, mark it out, out with heck, and it's still in there. And then he's like, "Hey, doesn't that spill?" And then the dude like covers his mouth, like, "Ha ha ha, can't say that, otherwise we lose our TV Y7 well, rating." Yeah, I remember. Man, I, I missed that yeah, show. I, I guess I cannot wait for the movie. Did, yeah, did you see where they oh. did like, oh, the comeback? Wait, hold on, guys. The commercial thing. I think we run out officially now, and we're at forty minutes, so we're gonna stop at you. Okay. Yeah, because we really got off track of Valentine's at yeah, the end. Who cares? Oh, I care a little, because it's going to be late with that. Fair I, enough. Don't li- I don't want to lie to the audience, those 14 subscribers. I warned you. Anyway. You just put Valentine's Day episode, okay, we and went, put a question mark at the end. Well, you see, Valentine's 30, we went 30 minutes of actual talking about Valentine's stuff, which was okay, because we don't even need to have long, that many long episodes. Anyways, enough logistics of that. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. If you're new here. Subscribe and share with your friends, please. Please. Take your significant other route.
tell them you love them. Or bring your significant other just to like listen. listen. Yeah, listen to our podcast. That's yeah. right. And uh, if you don't have a significant other, then enjoy your Wednesday. Get some Totino's pizza rolls. Oh, oh man. So, um, Curl up on the couch, watch our podcast. So what could well, listen to it. Yeah, well, whatever. I mean, I mean, there's no. We're going to have animation soon. Animation? You mean video soon? I mean, I don't know. You're the one doing it. Yes. Yeah, what let's, are you hear, let's, say? Hear, let's hear some noise. It's coming out soon. I promise. I keep forgetting about it. You need to send me the link so I can upload it. Okay, we'll do this tonight. Okay. Um, so it should come out. So by the time you listen to this, guys, hopefully it'll be out on the channel. Yes, it should be out by next. By the time you listen to this and finish it. All right. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna keep saying it until you guys do it. We need at least 4,000 play hours and 1,000 subscribers to become an actual channel recognized by the system. Yeah, so we can, <laughs> so we can, get, so we can get a sweet, sweet 12 cents every episode. That's right. We are starving. <laughs> <laughs> We've been sitting here for like three months. We just sit here until it's time to record the next episode. All uh, right, thanks for joining the us H for this. The HDTV is losing its picture quality. My parents are getting more disappointed by the hour. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this Valentine's Day episode I'm of Beneath losing, the Table. I'm, I'm losing scholarships by the second. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Matthew. I'm Tyler. And I'm Jacob. See you guys.